word. Why is uh, this canopy? The couple is standing underneath. <laughs> It's going to be a bad And our custom is to uh, present a house uh, that uh, is essential in our custom to validate the marriage of the couple. And in significance, a home or a roof under which the binding takes place. Without a hoopah, there is no marriage. We're going to do a little reenactment. Yes. We've been through it before, but now you get to see it. Okay, good. Okay. No, it's good on our head, though. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. It's so. <laughs> The commitment we are making today started a long time ago. To this day, I remember how refreshing it felt to discover you at hell the first night. <laughs> I remember how easy and natural it felt holding your hand for the first time in Central Park. I remember how comfortable I felt when you met my family in Belgium. I remember how much fun we had with your friends in Israel and how well we traveled together. I remember the bliss I felt when we moved on Hope Street. I didn't even know it could get better. But when I think of you, Nick and Took, our beloved Paris, my heart warms up because I know my heart has a home. You are my home. Over these five years, I have sometimes gotten scared. But I know that when I run away, I can take my time to return. I know I will find a safe and patient haven of your friendship. I know that you are there, understand. Oh, no. Like the fox with the little prince, I now have come to expect waking up next to you and seeing your face next to me every day. Today I too promise to be your haven and more. I promise to be the companion on the road, the accomplice who has your best, the friend who shares joy and pains, the husband who grows old with you. I promise to be your home. I also promise never to take you for granted. As much as I love you, you will never be mine and I will never be yours. Always escape and each other somehow. I promise to embrace the unpredictable winds of our lives. I promise to meet and we discover you at every turn. And whenever life moves us, I promise to take your hand and jump to a new and exciting tomorrow. I love who we are. I love the relationship we have thoughtfully crafted. And I will continue to nurture it for the next 64 years and more. <laughs> I'm proud of how we got married and I'm proud of how we get married today. With all the seriousness, the simplicity, the love, and the freedom that it takes to be together. I'm ready. I'm here. I love you. <laughs> at the entrance of Central Park, to Central Park, not far, not far from Lennon's Imagine. It was a bright winter day, a surprise, after a week of what I now call a Belgian sky. I remember being curious. Nobody ever before invited me for an afternoon date, a walk in the park, a change of scenery from the night when we first met at the dim looted bar named Hell. <laughs> We didn't read it one to the other before we so. <laughs> um, Maybe that's why I was so stricken when you said hi and I raised my eyes and saw you. In the bright light, it's for the first time. I was so surprised and so grateful. When today I picture myself at that moment, I think of the way Beak or Took react when we come home after a few days' trip. 
they puff, they move slowly, they try to be really big and impressive. They make those sounds as if they are really much more sophisticated than they actually are. <laughs> I must have looked the same. And remember time moving slower, taking a big breath in, making note to remember that moment, and mainly freaking out as I was at a loss of something extremely smart to say. Searching for the first sentence. I do not remember what the sentence was, but I guess it worked all right. So today, so today I promise to wake up every day and see you as for the first time. To be surprised and feel as grateful as I felt on the day when I raised my eyes to meet yours. To let you be you. I promise to support you like the wind supporting a bird when it takes to the sky, or like the root that allows a tree to reach to the sun. To listen and to learn. To have the courage and strength to honestly and humbly face obstacles as they come and remember that together there are none. To embrace your family is mine. Together with you to build ourselves a nest, a sanctuary, a family, and together with you to also travel, explore, and expand. And lastly, it would fall on me to, to be there when you die. I promise to let you go peacefully, calmly, and respectfully. I will hold you in my arms till your last breath part. And if it is me that will leave you first, let me go. Forgive me for leaving you.